Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? How are you doing? Are you ready for action? Okay, hey, let's begin. Buenas noches. Este es el programa nacional de inglés para el trabajo, modalidad online, beginner five. Welcome to your English class. Today is Wednesday, June the 14th. This is class 13. How to use idioms, part one. This is the general objective. This is the specific objective. And this is the class objective. At the end of the lesson, participants will be able to recognize and use idiomatic expressions. Okay. In the agenda, we have symptoms, idiomatic expressions, sick leave, getting sick, symptoms. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go to the attendance. Mm -hmm. This has frozen. Okay, no problem. Okay. It didn't appear the win the window that was supposed to appear. Let me see, Alejandro Enrique Gonzalez Maravilla. Excellent. Carlos Ernesto Sarsi. Okay. Cindy Janet Coches. Present teacher, good evening. Daniela Lisset Gutierrez. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Daisy Tatiana Cruz. Evelyn Yamilet Molina. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Juliana Maria Amaya de Fraile. Hazel Berenice Jimenez. Here, present. Excellent. Welcome on board. Jose Miguel Blanco. Present teacher. Excellent. Julio Aristides Paz. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Carla Idari Castillo. Catherine Beatriz Urbina. Katy Briseida Hernández. Lady Maricela Linares. Present teacher. Excellent. Liliana Laura Teresa Polio. Present teacher. Good evening. Present, good evening. Welcome on board. Mauricio de Jesús Buruca. María Leticia Realejeño. Miguel Ángel Santos. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Omar Seth Galicia. Roberto Carlos Gámez. Good evening, teacher, present. Good evening. Okay, excellent. Rolando Danilo Sánchez. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present teacher. Okay. So, okay, yeah, nice. Welcome on board. Susana Andrea Urbina. Wilber Francisco Javier. Martínez. Present teacher. Excellent. Good evening. Nice. Good evening. Rudy Alexander Asensio. Jose Andres Martinez. 
Present teacher. Excellent, nice. William Boris Roque. And Denis Fernando Flamenco Nolasco. Okay. Dear Angelitos, let's begin. First, we began, we begin studying uh, the following symptoms. We will be discussing symptoms, okay? I have aches and pains. My throat is sore. I have a stuffy nose. My nose is blocked. I have a headache. I have a high temperature. I feel hot. I have a fever. I want to vomit. I picked up a bug. I caught a bug. I feel nauseous. I have a runny nose. I have a chest infection. I have the chills. I have a splitting headache. I can't breathe. I have diarrhea. Okay, again, I have aches and pains. My throat, my throat is sore. I have a stuffy nose. My nose is blocked. I have a headache. I have high temperature. I feel hot. I have a fever. I want to vomit. I picked up a bug. I caught a bug. I feel nauseous. I have a runny nose. I have a chest infection. I have the chills. I have a splitting headache. I can't breathe. I have a diarrhea. Okay, or I have, and all of the aches that you can imagine. I have a tummy ache, or I have a stomach ache. I have a stomach ache, I have a toothache, I have a back ache, I have a food ache, I have a headache. Okay, so ache, aches and pains. Okay, questions? What's the mean H and pains? Aches, aches. Okay, Ache. someone punches you on the nose. What do you feel? Con dolor. Yeah, pain, aches. Ache and pains are the same. You feel ache. Sometimes you have a toothache. You cannot eat and you cannot speak, right? Inflammado. So you have a toothache. No, 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 no. The pain. What do you feel when they hit you on the nose? What do you feel? Pain. Pain. So when, pain, when, the, yeah. when the tooth is like that, what do you feel? Pain. Pain. It's pain. a toothache. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Toothache. Yeah. Okay, sometimes the head, oh, the head is really giving you problems. You have a headache. Headache. A headache. headache. So, so normally, normally you say, toothache. Let me see, let's make it smaller. Okay, here, smaller for you to see others. Toothache, a headache, backache, backache, mm, stomachache, you have a stomachache, a backache, a headache, right? A toothache, a headache, a backache, a stomachache. Mm -hmm. Throat. This is your throat. Throat. Okay, no, it's not teacher. That's your throat. <laughs> yeah, it's my throat. Okay, so throat. When you say that it's sore, 
it's another way of saying that you have a pain or an ache, right? You cannot swallow, mm -hmm. right? You have a problem and you cannot speak, okay? Because your throat is sore, okay? You have a stuffy nose. You have liquids inside your nose. You cannot breathe. The air doesn't go through your nose. So the nose is blocked. When you have a stuffy nose, the nose is blocked. You have a headache, oh, terrible headache, right? A splitting, teacher, a teacher. splitting headache. Yes. Uh, how do you say achaques? Achaques. Maybe H, H pains. Uh, ajá, que, que en, en, eh, normalmente los achaques de la edad que dicen. H pains. Uh -huh. The thing is that when you say achaques, it's only, only achaques, no, no de la edad, porque solo por la edad hay achaques. <laughs> sí, es cierto. Uh -huh. sí, <laughs> That's why people say H pains. Mm -hmm. Age when you okay, are old, you. some people okay. When you are old, people ask you, "Hey, does any part of your body hurt?" <laughs> and you answer, "You answer. There is no part of the body that doesn't hurt. <laughs> so, all of the parts of the body hurt." Okay. So, but don't worry. The pain only tells you that you are alive, that you are not dead. When you are okay. dead, okay. no pain. No more, no more pain. No more pain. When you are dead, no more pain. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay, so a high temperature. A high temperature is when you have fever. Like, uh, fever. Fever, you are hot. You are hot, you have fever. You, you have a high temperature. 40 degrees, 42 degrees. Wow, you're burning. You are burning. So when you have 42, you're burning, right? You will have the fever, okay? I want to vomit. Vomit. Look at that blonde. Vomit. I picked up a bug. Ah, chew. Ah, chew. I picked up a bug. I picked up Teacher. a virus. A virus. A bug. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, vomit, like you say, uh, I listen another word like throw out. Throw out. I want to throw out. Throw, throw, up. throw up. Informally, puke. I want to wow. puke, like sopear. <laughs> sopear. <laughs> I want to puke. Uh, right? Uh, so info it's informal, throw up. Throw up is informal and also puke. Well, which is more informal? Puke. You say puke with your friends, friends, friends. With your mom, you say throw up. Mom, I want to throw up. And with the doctor, you say vomit. I want to vomit. Okay. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. well, you can say throw up with the doctor too. But puke, no. Quiero sopear. No, Ryan, you don't say it. You say that to, the, to your doctor. Hey, doctor, quiero sopear. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, that no. Okay, I caught a bug. I caught a virus, right? A virus. Uh, particularly when you say, ah, chew, ah, chew, you're sneezing, you have the flu, etc. Caught a virus, you caught a bug. Okay. I feel nauseous. Teacher, nauseous? Yes, when you want to vomit. You want to vomit, you feel nauseous. Okay. You smell food and you want to vomit. So 
No, I have a runny nose. Runny nose. Okay. You have a runny nose. It's moquitos are coming out your, of, of your nose, right? Have a runny nose. <laughs> I have a chest infection. Sometimes you have a pain in your chest and you cannot breathe deeply because you have a chest infection and you have the cough. <laughs> and, the, and the chest is, I mean, you have a pain in your chest. So there is chest infection. I have the chill, escalofrios, right? I have the chills. All the hair rises in your body, your arms, etc. So I have the chills. I have a splitting headache. I have a splitting headache is a terrible headache. You feel that your head is going to explode. I have a terrible headache. When people have migraine, they have migraine. Let me see. Now probably I spelled it badly. Say like this, migraine. When people have migraine, they want to vomit. They see blur and they want to vomit because the, the pain is terrible. There is an electric shock in the brain. And so, like a rubber cup, all the pain, right? So the electricity running through the brain. Okay, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't. So you can't breathe. So the air cannot go. So And then you feel like you are tired and you cannot breathe. I have diarrhea. Okay, no explanation for that, you understand, okay? I have <laughs> diarrhea, yes? I have diarrhea. Okay, let's see, any other question? For the moment, no question, okay. Good then, let's go to the conversation. It says, good afternoon, doctor. Good afternoon. How do you feel? Not very well, doctor. I see. Can you describe your symptoms? Symptoms? Yes. Can you tell me what you feel? Ah, of course. I have a splitting headache. I want to vomit when it comes. Also, my nose is stuffed and I have trouble breathing. You've got a sinus infection. Is that serious? Not really. Take this medicine every eight hours. You feel better in no time at all. Thank you, doctor. Okay, again. Good afternoon, doctor. Good afternoon. How do you feel? Not very well, doctor. I see. Can you describe your symptoms? Symptoms? Yes. Can you tell me what you feel? Of course. I have a splitting headache and I want to vomit when it comes. Also, my nose is stuffed and I have trouble breathing. You've got a sinus infection. Is that, is, is that serious? Not really. Take this medicine every eight hours you'll feel better in no time at all. Thank you, doctor. Okay, let's see. How do you feel? Not very well, doctor. I see. Can you describe your symptoms? Symptoms? Yes, can you tell me what you feel? Of course. I have a splitting headache and I want to vomit when it comes. Also, my nose is stuffed and I have trouble breathing. You've got a sinus infection. Is that serious? Not really. Take this medicine every eight hours. You'll feel better in no time at all. Thank you, doctor. 
Okay. So, questions about the conversation. Okay, then let's go let's go to the groups and let's practice. When you finish practicing, decide if these sentences are true or false. Maria has a diarrhea. Maria only has a general checkup. Maria has a runny nose. Maria has a stuffy nose. Maria has a sinus infection. The doctor doesn't prescribe medicine. She's going to die. Okay. Let's see. So those are the things that you need to do. This one and this one. Okay. So let's go to the groups. We are 28. So four groups, no more. The groups are opening, please join. Lady It's the next slide, right? Hola, hola. Se ve la pantalla. Primera vez que uso Zoom en la compu. Yeah, it's, you can see it. Only there is a next screen. Uh, next screen. Tengo new chart. Es la, la, la otra hoja. The next slide. Ah, yeah. chévere. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Not very well, doctor. I see. Can you describe your symptoms? Describe. Sim Can you describe, describe your symptoms? Your sim symptoms? Yes. Can you tell me what you feel? Of course. I have a speeding headache and a headache. headache. I have a splitting headache. I have a splitting headache and one and want to vomit when it comes also my nose is a stuffy and i have trouble breathing trouble 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 breathing trouble ball blow no ball trouble 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 breathing You've got a uh, sinus infection. Is that serious? No, really. Take this medicine every eight hours. You'll feel better in no time at all. Thank you, doctor. Okay. Others? Other people. Yo con quien? Yo con la compañía. <laughs> Maya. Yoko. Yoko. Good afternoon, doctor. Yes. 
Good afternoon. How do you? I have a splitting. I have a splitting. It dies. I want to vomit when it comes. Also, my nose is stuffed, and I have a trouble stop. And I have trouble breathing. Trouble, 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 trouble breathing. breathing, breathing, trouble breathing. Mm -hmm. Trouble breathing. You have go a sinus infection. Sinus, a sinus infection. Is that serious? Not really. Hello, good afternoon. How do you feel? Maybe you can not the, very the well. Telephone just... horizontal. If you put the telephone horizontally, it's going to be better. Uh huh. Only that with the picture. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Eh. Solo que hoy tiene que reducirlo un poquito porque no se alcanzan a ver todos. Ahí está. Ahí yeah, está. Correcto. Ahí está correcto. Sí. Yeah. Beta. 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 Okay. Not very, very well, doctor. I see. Can you describe your symptom? Symptoms? Yes. Can you tell me what you feel? Of course. I have I splinting. Splitting. Splitting. Splitting headache. Splitting. Headache. 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 And want to vomit headache. when it comes. Also, my nose. Noise. My nose. No. Nose is a stuffed. 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 Stuff. And I. The stuff. And I have trouble breathing. Breathing. You go a sinus infection. You got Is a sinus serious? infection. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, it's an affirmation. Ah, uh -huh, exactly. You have you got a sinus infection. Mm -hmm. Is that serious? No, Not really serious. Serious? 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 Not really. Take this medicine every eight hours. You'll feel better in no time at all. At all. At all. At all. At all. No time at all. No time at all. Mm -hmm. In no time at all. Thank you, doctor. Excellent. Very good. Eh, ¿Quién más está? Mi no, puedo ver, no puedo ver quién está. ¿Quién más Miguel. está? <coughs> Yo. Ahí en María. Yo en María. In the dialogue. Okay. Teacher. <laughs> yeah, I'm doctor. Yeah, okay. All right. Good afternoon, doctor. Good afternoon. How do you feel? No, very well, doctor. I see. Can you describe your symptom? Symptoms? Yes. Can you tell me what you feel? Of course, I have spitting headache. headache. Uh, what is the pronunciation of this word, headache. teacher? Headache. Headache. Okay. Headache and want to vomit when it comes. Also, my nose is stuffed, and I have stuffed. trouble stuffed. Stuffed. And I have trouble breathing. 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 You got a sinus infection. You got is a that sinus serious? infection. Is that serious? Not really. Take this medicine every eight hours, you'll feel better in no time at all. Thank you, doctor. Okay. Okay. Take your, take your medicine. 
Take your medicine. Sorry. The translation. Okay. <laughs> okay. Vamos con true or false. Ya no faltaba nadie más, ¿verdad? No. Okay. Are these statements true or false? Maria has a diarrhea. A diarrhea. Dia. A diarrhea. Diarrhea. Maria diarrhea. has. Maria has a diarrhea. Maria has a diarrhea. Is question. Maria has a diarrhea. Is is a lie. False. Yeah, false. that's that's gossip. It's gossip. <laughs> okay. Uh, the second question: Maria only has a general checkup. Only has a general check. Yes. Yes. False. 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 Mm -hmm. false. 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 Okay. Maria has a runny, runny nose. Runny nose. Runny nose. Is no false. It's false too. False. False. Maria has a stuffed, stuffed, a stuffed. Okay. <laughs> Maria has Maria has a dia, diarrhea. Come on, diarrhea. 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 Ah, okay. Diarrhea. Okay. Uh, Maria has a di diarrhea. Mm -hmm. okay. Maria only has a general check. Okay, Maria uh, only has a general check. No, it's false. 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 Maria, Maria has Maria a running nose. nose. False. False. Uh -huh. False. Maria has a. It's totally true. Uh, true, yeah. It's true. Yeah, it's true. Y la cita, la spy y... Teacher, pronunciación es difícil. ¿Cómo es? Es difícil. ¿Cómo es, teacher? Stuffy. Stuffy. A stuffy. A stuffy. A stuffy. A stuffy. A stuffy. La cita es false. Sí, es false. The doctor doesn't. Prescription medicine. Pre prescribes, prescribes medicine. Prescribe. Prescribe medicine. Uh, prescribe. Prescribe medicine. He's going to die if possible. Yeah. He's uh -huh. going right? to die. She's going to die. Is she, to die. is she a human being? Yes. Is she going to die? Yeah. In 60 years, she yeah, has yeah. A couple. so she's going to die someday. Let's cry, not, let's not cry, today. Let's cry. Yeah, all right, let's go to the main session. Only these ones because of the necessity to double check. It's false. <laughs> yeah. We say headache. Headache. Let me see. Let me put it here. Headache. Pronunciation. 
You can also say Headache. 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 You can say headache, headache, headache. It's okay. Those, those formats, it's okay. Yeah. Headache, 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 headache. The two are headache. okay. Headache. What is the more common, teacher? Both. Both are very common. So this maybe okay. in, in America, the second, headache. In, in, headache. in England, the first, headache. So okay. most common, the two are the most common. The most common in England, headache. The most common in the United States, headache. Headache. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have, we have, uh, Maria has a diarrhea. Oh. Yeah, this oh. is it's chambre, right? Gossip. This is full. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's gossip. It's chambre. Okay. Uh, Maria only has a general checkup. False. False, too. Another gossip. Now, Maria has a runny nose. Number, number false. one. Oh, it's true. She doesn't have diarrhea, teacher. <laughs> okay, because I gave it to her and now I was Ya le cambiaron los síntomas. Ya le cambiaron los síntomas. Ya le pusimos de nuevo. No, María has a diarrhea. False. María only has a general checkup. False. Okay. False. We say that is gossip. True? No. False. María has a runny nose. False. 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 Okay. False is because it's not runny nose. She doesn't have a runny nose. She has a stuffed or stuffy nose. Stuffy nose. What's the meaning? That the nose is blocked. It has some substance in the nose. And uh, the nose is blocked. It's blocked. The person cannot breathe. No air. Okay, no air pass. So, Maria has a stuffy true. nose. True. Yeah. yeah, this is true. Maria has a sinus infection. True. True. Also true. The doctor doesn't prescribe medicine. False. This is false. False. She is going to die. False. <laughs> False. False. In, false. General, true. in general, it's true. true. In general, it's true, but yes. to, today, no, <laughs> she isn't going to die. Today, no, she's going to die in 60 she's years. She's going to die in 50 years, in 40 years. If or she tomorrow, not bring the medicine. No, she's eventually she's going to get better. <laughs> it's only yes. going to take longer. This is false. Yeah, it's for She's going to die. She's a human being. Yes, then she's going to die. One day, but not today. All right, the next one. Teacher, teacher. Yes? A question. Uh, when the doctor says uh, to Maria, uh, take medicine every eight hours, mm -hmm. uh, that is not a prescription? Yes, it's a prescription. But the sentence, the sentence here says doesn't. Ah, yeah, yeah. The sentence says the doctor doesn't prescribe medicine. It's a negation and, of negation. Exactly. And then it's false. So uh, it says the doctor prescribes medicine. Ah, true. yeah. Thank you. But the doctor doesn't prescribe. It's false. He prescribes. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. It's like someone says... Uh, she doesn't understand. False. Ah, she understands. No. And then, <laughs> okay. So, but no. The, the, like you were saying, negative, false to something negative is positive, right? Yeah. All right. 
idiomatic expressions. Idiomatic expressions. Okay, first, first things first. What's an idiomatic expression? What's an idiomatic expression? Ah, okay. It's an expression that has a special meaning. It doesn't have a it doesn't have a literal meaning, right? The expression is not literal, it's idiomatic. Okay, so we have an idiomatic expression, not literal. Like for example, when you say color de hormiga, wow, you say está color de hormiga. What's the meaning? Yeah. That is black, that Bye. is brown, that is red, or that is black, no, right? That is difficult. Okay, so it's an idiomatic expression in Spanish. Or you say, está yuca, blanco, cocido, con, pe con pepesca. No, Duro. no, no, right? Uh -huh. Exactly. <laughs> palosa. So, uh -huh, exact, palosa. Tierroso. So, tierroso. Oh, no, right? Está yuca, it's difficult. So it's an idiomatic expression. The same happens in English. In English, we have some idiomatic expressions. It's raining cats and dogs. Really? Literally, you see cats and dogs coming down? No, yes. it's raining yes, that very I... hard. Yeah. Oh, the last Sunday. Last Sunday. Last Monday. Right? Monday. Yeah. <laughs> that, or last Monday. It was raining very hard. So it was raining cats and dogs. It's an <laughs> idiomatic expression. Or another ex idiomatic expression, like, um, are we saying? What? It costs an arm and a leg. Hey, how much is that car? <laughs> it costs an arm and a leg. In Spanish, it's different, right? Un ojo de la cara. No un ojo del pie. So un ojo de la cara. So that is an idiomatic expression. Yes. So it costs an arm and a leg. What's the meaning? That is very expensive, right? Very expensive because you say that it costs an arm and a leg. So the other one is like say raining cats and dogs. Like father, like son. Yes. That is more like a saying than an idiomatic expression, but yes, why not? But if you say a chip of the old block, uh -huh, okay, that's the idiomatic expression for the ones that you say. A chip of the old block. Or, or if you want, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. The it's apple okay. doesn't fall far from the tree. What's the meaning? Like you were saying, like like father, like son. No caen de los árboles. Ajá. La manzana no cae lejos del árbol. Richard, um, break a leg. Break a leg. Break a leg. Break a leg. It's an idiomatic expression. Wishing good luck. But if the person is a ballet dancer, you never say break a leg. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Idiomatic expression is to say idioms. The same thing. Idiomatic expression is the complete name, but people only say idiom. Short idiom. Okay. Mm -hmm. like yeah. Another expression is like plain as day. Yeah, as plain as day. It was clear as day. 
or it was as bright as day. Oh, yes, I understood. It was as clear as day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So those are idiomatic expressions. How can you use them? It's more, it's more common and when we see a, when we watch a movie or yeah. a series. Uh -huh. So you use them when you speak. In writing, only when you're reading a book, a, a book that is telling you about a story, etc. But if it's an academic book, no, you don't find the idiomatic expression. Why not? Idiomatic expressions are colloquialism, right? Colloquialism is the way that people speak. Okay? Let's see. Is it convenient to use it when we don't really understand them? And the answer is no. If we don't understand them, don't use them. Because your friends are going to laugh in your face. <laughs> Right? What? Okay. So, it's better to understand them well and then use them. Okay. So, like somebody said, coyol quebrado, coyol comido, right? Or co yes? So, mm, if you don't understand how to use it, don't use it. Okay, if you're saying that you are just living by the day. You're just living by the day. You live with what you get that day. You get some money, you spend it that day. Next day, you get more money and you spend it that day and so forth. You say like the idea. So that is an idiomatic expression. Now, when can we use an idiomatic expression? When we are in a conversation when we feel comfortable with the people that we are around, right? When we are with friends, we use idiomatic expression. Okay, continue, Angelitos. So, these are seven ways to make English idioms and phrases easier to understand. Okay, number one, listen to the context. Listen to the context. Pay attention to the context. Okay, that is the first thing. Pay attention to the context. Number two, check to see if you understood in the context. If you didn't understand, okay, be honest. Be honest and ask. If you didn't understand, be honest and ask. What do you mean? When someone says, ah, I know. All of my effort and all of my time and money went down the drain. Huh? What do you mean? I, we wasted it. We wasted it. It went down the drain. Oh. Okay. So the idiomatic expression is go down the drain. Go down the drain. Right? In Spanish, I don't know if there is something similar. Okay. Irse por el tragante. So, irse por el tragante, go down the drain. Okay, so maybe, right? But there is an expression like that. Okay, so never translate idiom. Don't translate it because the translation doesn't help you. And Google doesn't help you with this. Google many times doesn't understand that. And then you put, go down the drain. It will tell you literally, irse por el tragante. Okay? It will not tell you the, the real meaning. It's like the, real... the teacher, it's like the North American people who wants to translate something that we, what, that we say like that. Vamos a ir a jugar chibolas, and, and the North American people wants to translate, so there is no, um, no they, the translation is not the same. It's not the same, or like when people say, 
uh, imagine that they, they use the expression, somebody said, tirándote puntos. Ah, tirándote puntos. And he said, what's that? <laughs> in the gringuito, in the gringuito, a big question, question mark in the forehead, right? Mm -hmm. And you say, and ask, hey, buddy, what is tirando de tontas? That they are attacking you, okay? So if they are attacking you, they están tirando de tontas, okay? Defend yourself. They are attacking you. <laughs> Ah, okay. O más se tira piedras invisibles. Yes, that's right. So that is kind of funny. Okay, then the other one. Listen to how native speakers use the idioms and take notes. Pay attention and take notes. And tolerate and learn from your mistakes. When you make mistakes, correct them and learn from there, okay? So that is, those are ideas for you to use idiomatic expressions more easily. Okay, here are some examples. Remember that right now the topic is medical complaints. Yeah, we're using idiomatic expressions to talk about medical complaints. So, not to be sneezed, not to be sniffed at, Something should not be taken too lightly. Means take it seriously. Take it seriously. When you say, ah, no, this disease is not to be sneezed at. This disease is not to be sneezed at. Means that the disease is serious, okay? Now, Peggy offered to buy the car for $120,000. It was not an amount to be sneezed at. It's not an amount to be sneezed at. $120,000 is a lot of money. For one car, yes, teacher, but it's a Ferrari. You can get a Ferrari for $30,000, you know that? It depends on the year, but a Ferrari, 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 okay? $30,000, but $120,000, you can buy how many? Four, uh, four maybe like, like four Ferraris, right? So in that case, it's too much. Suffer from, from foot in mouth disease. Suffer from foot in mouth disease. Foot in mouth. Who does that? The babies, right? The babies get their feet and they put them in their mouth. But when a person uh, puts his foot in his mouth, means that he makes a lot of mistakes. He says inappropriate things. Like, for example, someone says, Hey, that man, that teacher is very angry and whatever, blah, 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 blah. What, my brother? Hey, no, he's a nice person, you know, very wonderful, kind. Yeah, very nice. Foot in my mouth. Say some something inappropriate to the wrong person <laughs> okay so or like someone says one woman tells another woman i hate that man he is ridiculous you say my husband ah oh, no he's a wonderful person you know so, that is put my foot in my mouth i say something inappropriate i say the wrong thing when someone suffers from a foot, from foot in mouth disease, the person uh, says the wrong thing many times, all the time. I hate public speaking. I suffer from foot in mouth disease. Like someone said, someone said, 
Ay, this, they are, these guys are ridiculous, you see? The, the guys from Santa Ana, they are deep in the bread, in the coffee. Can you believe that? And he says, yes, I am from Santa Ana. And I love doing that. I no, I mean, uh, it's okay, right, to do it. So, okay, food in my mouth. Yeah, food in my mouth. Food in my mouth. So, so then take a turn for the worse. Take a turn for the worse. Means change for the worse. Change for the worse. What's the meaning? become more ill. Someone is sick and the person becomes even more, gets sicker, right? So that is take a turn for the worse. The man went to the hospital for a respiratory problem, but he took a turn for the worse and went into coma and eventually Passed on. Pass, passed on? No, pass on. What's the meaning? He died. Eventually passed away. Passed away or passed on means he died. Okay, he hung the, the tennis, right? He hung the tennis, he hung the globes. Okay. So, or in Spanish, estirar la pata, right? So, it's an idiomatic expression. Yeah? Okay. So, unfortunately, her health has taken a turn for the worse. Be up and about. Be up and about means recover from an illness. Soon, you will be up and about. Don't worry. You will be sick for some time, but soon you will be up and about. Means that you will recover from the disease. My grandmother was in bed with the flu, but she's been up and about this morning. Okay, my grandmother was in bed with the flu, but I saw her up and about this morning, but she's up and about now. Okay, she's feeling better. Be up and about, recover from an illness. I'm repeating the same because I didn't have anything else to write. Nah, I'm just kidding. I did I have a lot of space and I didn't know what to write. <laughs> okay. The other one. Pass out. What's the meaning of pass out? No pass out, pass out. No. Pass out is a loose consciousness. Okay, when someone hits you on the head and then you fall down and you are unconscious. Passed out. To lose consciousness. I didn't it eat did. any. I I didn't eat any breakfast and was feeling so lightheaded. I thought I might pass out at any moment. Yes, my friend Wilbur. Uh, desmayarse. Yeah, pass out. Another pass way out. of saying pass out is. Feel dizzy. Faint. Dizzy. Faint. 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 Uh, dizzy is like lightheaded, dizzy. But lightheaded is like when you say, sentí que flotaba, caminaba en el aire, right? Felt lightheaded. Okay. When you haven't slept, you didn't sleep well, or you slept only two hours the night before, the next day, you are just like walking on clouds. That is, you feel lightheaded. Or probably when you have taken medicine, you have taken medicine for the flu and the medicine is very strong. Suddenly you are lightheaded. Okay, so faint. Pass out means faint. The girls, they see a handsome boy nearby and Oh, right, and they, for the, the handsome man to catch them, okay? They pass out. Okay, pass on, die. Pass on, die. So, my grandfather passed on last year. 
my grandfather passed on last year. My grandfather died last year. Over the worst, getting steadily better. When something is, when let's say that some is over the worst, someone is over the worst, means that the worst passed and the best is coming. Okay? So if the person is getting better, she's still not feeling well, but at least, She's over the worst. She's not, she's still not feeling well. She's still a little sick. A little totorek. Now, teacher, totorek is Greek. <laughs> so it's a little, <laughs> so like in Chalatenango, say tembeleke, right? So a little like that. But she's over the worst. She's getting, little by little, she's getting better. She's over the worst, over the worst. Okay, the next one, a death door. A death door means about to die, about to die. Was like this from dying. Por un pelito se muere, right? So was a, a, like this to die. So sick enough to die, close to dying, close to dying. Close to dying. You say, I had such a fever, I was convinced I was at death door when the medicine began to work. Okay. My daughter was at death door when she was like, what, two years old? And I took her to the doctor. And the doctor told me, a little more. You delay and she, right? So now she's 21 years old. <laughs> okay. So, and I'm very happy that she's fine. Okay. So at death door, I had such a fever. I was convinced I was at death door and the medicine began to work. Okay. Go under a knife, teacher have surgery. Yes, go under the knife. Who uses a knife? The doctor. The doctor to operate, yeah. to cut. Okay. Yeah. It's a, what's the name of the knife? What's the name of the knife that the doctors use to operate? Bisturi. <laughs> Scalpel, right? Scalpel. Mm -hmm. Scalpel is a scalpel, so go under the knife, go under the scalpel. But go under the knife, they are saying that the, the, the doctor is carnicero, right? So, <laughs> so that's a little like, I thought that by eating well, I would cure my gallbladder inflammation, but it didn't work. So now, I will have to go under the knife, okay? I will have to go under the knife. I will have to be operated on. So that would be the go under the knife. Teacher, what is gallbladder? Gallbladder are some of the things that are on top of the liver, the cicula, right? So the gallbladder. All right, then the other one under anesthetic to be made chemically unconscious by a medic under means the loss of consciousness right means when you have to be operated on the teeth they put anesthetic and then they work and when uh, you want to speak you can't speak because the tongue is completely thick, right? You cannot speak. The tongue is like that. So because of the anesthetic. I thought, say like that, to be made chemically unconscious by a medic. When you're under anesthetic, you are not aware of anything that's happening to you. Okay? Anesthetic. So these are some, these are the 10, only 10 idiomatic expressions not to be sneezed at, not to be scoffed at, 
is another another expression. It's the same, but some people say scoffed at. Not to be sneezed at, not to be sniffed at, not to be scoffed at. And suffer from foot and mouth disease. Take a turn for the worse. Be up and about. Be up and about, repeat it. Pass out to a faint. Pass on. Over the worst, a death door, go under the knife and under anesthetic. So these are some of the, the expressions, okay? That would be the idea. Do you have any questions about the expressions? Angelitos? The use could be all time. When appropriate. You use them when appropriate. Depending when you the need conversation. Them, depending the on context. the conversation. Depending on the conversation. Depending on the context. Okay. And some people like to use idiomatic expressions when they are not necessary. And they sound very strange. No, we should use, uh, let's say, the idioms when they are necessary. When they are not necessary. What for? Okay. So the fewer, the fewer uh, idioms we use, the better. People understand us more. Okay. okay. Let's see. Yeah. Task preparation, sick leave. Teacher, what's a sick leave? Also, some people say a uh, sick day, sick day, or like when people cannot go to work because they are sick, they get a sick leave, a permission to be absent because they are sick, sick leave, right? The purpose is to discuss permission. Here we have the first question. First question, do you often get sick? Yes. Okay. What are the procedures to ask for permission to be absent? What do you do when you want you need to be absent? What do you do? Uh, inform our, 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 my boss. You inform your team. boss. Huh. Explain Sorry. the situation to your boss, right? What else? Yeah. My okay, case teacher, because I am a boss. I just wrote a message in WhatsApp and say that I going that I went to the or I going to the to the Seguro Social to the East. Ah, to the East. Okay, and then you have to present the document, right? You have to fill in the document and show the seal that they make at the Social Security. Mm -hmm. Just a photo, teacher. Ah, WhatsApp. photo. Okay. Yeah, and the photo. Yeah. Uh -huh with telling the time that you entered and everything. Okay, so sick leave. You have to fill in a document asking for permission for the day or days that you're going to be asked. Okay. What do you do in order to get paid for the day? Because if you are absent because you're sick, they pay you. Depending on the number of days, not the institution, but the social security. So what do you do to get uh, to get paid? Give the document to my boss. For example, is I went to the East, I give a document to my boss. Okay, excellent. So that's something good. How often do you ask for permission? I sometimes. Sometimes. Yes. One time a month. Yeah, once a, a month. month. I only ask for permission when I have to see the, the doctor. If I don't have to see the doctor, I don't have to ask for permission. I try to be present all the time, even when I am sick. Yeah. Okay. Like for example, next week is Teachers Day. 
but no problem. We have class, normal class. Teacher's day, okay. It's just another day. It's just just another day. Okay. All right. So we, we are going to send a virtual gift, teacher. <laughs> exactly. It's like in the institution, they said um, we're going to send you a virtual basket, okay, a canasta. At uh, the picture, right? So, oh, congratulations. Here you have a canasta. Oh, thank you very much. I will virtually eat the contents, okay? <laughs> so, okay. Then we have what's your boss's attitude to your uh, towards your absent? What's your boss's attitude toward your absent? The Bluetooth device is ready to pop. Really Teacher, uh, mm -hmm. regularly I don't uh, ask. Then the attitude, attitude yes. of my boss is good. Your the attitude of your boss is good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my boss too. When I tell my boss, uh, I'm going to be absent because I am sick. Okay, my boss says, all right, no problem. We're going to get you a substitute. Oh. And they get a substitute. Well, that would be the my case, No, my boss was angry because you know, I have a lot of activ activities that I have to do in my work, in my job. Yes. So if I am absent or if I am upset, they, he has to do it, the, 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 the activities. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's why they don't like you. Uh -huh. No, in my case, my boss said that it was difficult to find someone to, to substitute for me. So he didn't, she didn't want to give me permission. So I say, hey, what happens? I have to see the doctor. Say, no, no problem. Go ahead. Okay. Boss is sorry too. All right, Angelitos, let's move on. Conversation, okay? Don't play baseball because look at this lady. Room okay. and the belly broke. So let's see, practice the conversation with a partner. Good morning, this is Tony Grimes. Hello, Mr. Grimes. Sorry, this is, this is Rose. I have a situation. Hi, Rose, tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are, in, you are feeling better. Yeah, I'm, I'm in top, tip top shape. Take it easy, Rose. I hope you. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Grimes. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay. Again, good morning. This is Tony Grimes. Hello, Mr. Grimes. This is Rose. I have a situation. Hi, Rose. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going on or there's something going around. I hope you're feeling better. Yeah, I'm in tiptoe shape. Take it easy, Rose. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Grimes. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay, let's see. In tiptoe, I mean in tip top, not tick tock, not tick tock, but in tip top shape means in very good condition. Okay? You can say tip top shape or tip top condition. Okay? Means, okay, in great shape. Okay, there's something going around, means there is a virus in the air. Okay? 
that is making everybody sick. My, stock, my stomach is killing me. Means I have a terrible pain in my stomach. Mm -hmm. What's the matter? What's the problem? Right? What's the problem? I'm as sick as a dog. Teacher, but my dog is not sick. No, that's an expression. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay. So, do you have any questions about the passage, about the conversation? Teacher, Hello. the pronunciation is Kailing or Kailing? Como dijo, teacher. Uh, in what part, stomach, my friend? Stomach is, is, is killing, killing. 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 From ah, kill, okay. kill. 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 Kill me. Kill. It's killing me. My stomach is killing me. Killing me. Killing me softly with that. Okay, with that song. I'm sick. My stomach was started. Yeah, that's for sure. Puro huevo, eh? como que un huevo es que tiene en la panza. Ajá, uh -huh, exacto. Remember that there is a pollito inside. <laughs> it's pregnant. Yeah, it's pregnant. So it's the big belly. All right. So it's not a beer belly. Not a beer belly. This is a pregnancy belly. Okay. Let's see. Let's go into the groups. And let's begin practicing the conversation. Okay. Let me see. There was another thing, I think. Yes, you have to answer the questions in the next slide. Okay. So you have the conversation and the question. Okay. Okay. And then that's so let's go to the let's let's go to the groups. The groups are opening. But let me see, sorry, I'm going to close the groups. I'm going to create a new group. So don't enter the groups. Cancel. The groups are going to close and I'm going to create a new, another group. Why teacher? You will see why. I have 12 oyentes, 12. And uh, someone is oyente when he is working, but other people are not working and they want to be oyentes because they don't want to participate. So that is sad, okay, it's sad. Teacher, how do you know? I can see. Me sacó, teacher. Yes. Yo lo saqué. <laughs> all right. So, okay. all right. Let me organize the groups before you go into them. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Here we go. Imagine. Now, yes, enter. And I will reorganize the groups from inside. Okay. It's raining. Hey. Okay. La compañera. Okay. En la primera casi no pude participar. Bye. Okay. Hay Antonio si quiere. Yes. Okay. Good morning. This is Tony Grimes. Hello, Mr. Grimes. 
This is Rose. I have a situation. Hi, Rose. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am sick as a dog. Okay, understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Gracias. Yeah, I am tip top shape. Take it easy, Rose. I hope to see you on Monday. Thank you a lot, Mr. Grimes. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay. Cambiamos. Yes. Okay. Good morning. This is Tony Grimes. Hello, Mr. Grimes. This is Rose. I have a situation. 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 Okay. Hi, Rose. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach can kill me. I am sick a dog. Sick a dog. Okay. I understand today's ego. I was feeling under the water too. Oh, really? There's some some time going around. I hope you are feeling better. Yeah, I am tip top shape. Take it easy, take it easy, Rose. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks, thanks a lot, Mr. Knight. Have a nice rest today, of today, of the day. Okay. Next. Me. Hi, Rose. Tell me what the matter. I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay. I understand. Today ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Yeah. And, and me, TikTok chef, they, they got easy roles. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Grimes. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay. Okay. Robertio. Okay. okay. Let's go. Good morning. This is Tony Grimes. Hello, <clears throat> Mr. Mr. Grimmy. This is Rose. I have a situation. Hi, Rose. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Uh, two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Yeah, I am in TikTok shape. Uh, take it easy. Rose, I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Grimmis. I have a nice rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, partner. Andresito. Yeah, este, pero yo comencé la vez pasada. So, and, este... Podría empezar esta vez, Geisa. O no sé, alguien más. Good morning, this is Tony Grimes. Hello, Mr. Grimes. This is Rose. I have a situation. Hello, Rose. Tell me what's the matter. I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am, I am as sick as a dog. 
Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Yeah, I'm in a tip-top shape. Take it easy, Rose. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Graves. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bien, so, excelente. Mr. We have the, Mauricio. Uh, uh, Mauricio. Okay, aquí vamos. Empiezo. Good morning, this is Tony Grimes. Okay, yo le ayudo. Hello, Mr. Grimmy. This is Rose. I have a situation. Hi, Rose. Tell me what's the matter. I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Yeah, my am TikTok shape. Take it easy, Rose. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Grimmy. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay, thank you. Next, imagine. It's both. Ah, nice. Next, sorry. Yeah, I am in TikTok. Chuck, uh, take is easy, Rose. I had to see. You on Monday? Yep. Thanks a lot, Miss Green. I have a nice rest of the day. Okay. Okay. We'll fill. Yeah, la siguiente lámina. Go to the next one. Mr. Grimes. What is this? Mr. Mugres. <laughs> Mr. Mugres. Grimes is Mugres. Grimes. Why can't you go? go to work? work? Why can't Rose go to work? She feel happy. <laughs> the stomach is healing. Como te dio, teacher? Healing, healing. healing her. Stomach. Healing. His, his stomach is killing her. Uh -huh. uh, it's killing. Okay. Stomach está matando. Yeah, his <laughs> stomach is killing her. What does Mr. Grains respond to the situation? How does he respond to the situation? Yeah. How does he respond? Positively or negatively? Is he contestable negatively? Veamos. Let's see. Let me see. Let's see. Let's take, see. Let's take a look. Come. Come. Uh -huh. ¿Qué dice que le pasó? ¿Cómo, eh, ¿Qué pregunta? Y cómo, ¿Cómo le respondió a esa situación? Bro? No. No. Eh, eh, En el número tres. What happened? It? What, what happened? happened it? 
to Mr. Green. ¿Qué le pasó? ¿Cómo qué le sucedió uh -huh. al señor Green? Mr. Grimes two days ago. Two days ago. Uh, he was feeling under the weather too. He was feeling sick too. Be under the weather, feel under the weather is feel sick. He was feel. feeling sick. He was feeling, feeling sick. Feeling, feeling sick. He was feeling ah, sick. Okay. He was feeling sick under the weather. He was feeling and he was feeling under the weather. It's the meaning of he was feeling sick. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the last question. How's how's Mr. Green now? From Mr. Grimes. Grimes, how Grimes. Mr. Grimes now? Mm -hmm. Grimes um, means mugres, costras. <laughs> How's Mr. Costras now, Mr. Grimes? Uh, uh, Mr. Costras, <laughs> Mr. Grimes, <laughs> Mr. Grimes. He in tip top shape. And, and then he said eat tip top shirts. In tip tip top shape. Tip top shape. Tip top shape. He's in tip top shape. Yeah. Tip top shape. No. <laughs> what do you mean tip top shape, teacher? In, in the Spanish. Very, in a very good shape. Muy buena condición. Good shape. Um, right. ah, good tip top shape. shape. You can on, you can say only top shape. I'm in top shape. I'm I'm top shape. I'm top shape. Yeah. Tip top is como el, el como muy buena. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're at the tip at the top. So tip top. Ah, uh, top is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At the top. top. Top of the hip. Top of the hip. Okay. Okay, okay, teacher. That's it. You finish. You finish, right? finish. 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 finish teacher. Excellent. Very good. Let's go to the main group. Okay, teacher. Let me see. Just let me check the last group. Let me see okay. number five. They finish too. Then we go. Okay. Finish, Angelitos. Yes, teacher. All right, let's go then to the main group. So you did the, the last the last slide, you did it. The next slide. This one you answered. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Then let's go. There are 12 people, 12 people out, 13. Twelve people out, 15. 20. Okay. Let's be. Let's see. Why can't Rose go to work? Why can't Rose go to work? She feels sick. She feels sick, right? Because she has a situation. She has a stomach. Yeah, her stomach is killing her. Okay. How does Mr. Grimes, Mr. Costras, Mr. Costras? How does Mr. Grimes respond to the situation? He says he understands. She? 
he says he understands her. Uh -huh. And uh, no problem. Okay. That he will see her on Monday. Okay. Okay, now what happened to Mr. Grimes two days ago? I was feeling on the weather too. Yes. He he was feeling he, he was, was feeling, feeling under he was the feeling too. under the weather too. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, how's Mr. Grimes now? He's in TikTok check. He's in TikTok. Video de TikTok. Yes, he's in TikTok <laughs> shape. <laughs> Está listo para hacer TikTok. <laughs> exactly. Or he's... in fit body. <laughs> full body, full body TikTok. <laughs> yeah, okay. Excellent. Now, getting sick. Another question like this. You're going to ask and answer these questions in the group. Okay. You discuss these questions in the group. So let's go to the groups, but first do this and then match this. Match and discuss these questions. So first this, then this. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the groups. The groups are opening. Please join. Dennis, Catherine, Miguel Blanco, Daniela. <laughs> y, y nunca me enfermé. <laughs> Hay que aguantar. Sí. What are, what are the most common diseases to get? The most common diseases. ¿Qué significa esto? Common diseases. Diseases. Como lo más común que se enferma. Uh, Enfermedades. Common. Más uh, comunes. Ah, uh, yo casi no me enfermo. In my, in my case, flu. Uh, the flu and stomachache, right? The flu and diarrhea. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's flu. What do you think? No sería tomar pastilla. You take pills. You take medicine. You take medicine. Uh -huh. take medicine. Medicines. Wow. Every day you take medicine every day. 
Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Um, um, uh, for us. Uh -huh. Comen mucho limón. <laughs> yeah, and better lemon. <laughs> Do you in where go yet? No, I don't know. No, I don't know. Do you ever go to the hospital? Yes. Solo una vez fui cuando me dio dengue. When? In English? <laughs> no, pero. I went, I went only when I got dengue. I went only one time. I, I went only, only one, one time. Like when I got baby. When I got take. Yeah. When born my baby. When the baby was born. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I am um, oh, opera the appendix. <laughs> ah, okay. Appendix. Yes, appendix. Appendix. You, you were. In my case, vesicula is vesicula. Or... The gallbladder. The bladder. Mm -hmm. Gallbladder. The gallbladder. Mm -hmm. okay. The gall gallbladder. No, gallbladder. Gallbladder. Okay. Yes. Two. Yes. Believe. Have you ever been operated on oh. doctors? Yes. Two occasions. <laughs> In two occasions. Okay. The only things that I cut in my body are the nails and the hair. Then nothing else. No other parts of the body. So surgery, never. Broken bones, no. Only the nose. When you are children, you are terrible. So you get broken noses. Okay. Yeah. Do you believe in doctor? You believe in doctors? Yes. Yes, fine. Yeah, me too. Some doctors don't know what they are doing, but many doctors do. In some doctors. Ah, uh, some doctors. Some doctors. Next. Huh? Okay, I can visit the doctor, uh, but that means spending more or less uh, $200. Um, I know that I feel better if I eat properly. Then I need to eat proper is the solution in my okay. case. Okay. In my opinion, I share my opinion with um, from from Hazen. I prefer um, take the medicine from my own um, from my home. Because sometimes, just sometimes, you know, like I say, the ease and the secure social <laughs> is a bad service. So um, I prefer to investigate it uh, uh, more for another places. And I, I don't want to visit a doctor because sometimes they don't help you too much. Okay. Uh, number four, 
Do you ever go to the hospital? Just in a special location. In 2001, I think it was, I have a problem with my kidney, so I didn't have an option, but I think that was the last time. So it's, it's not a common thing. Okay, in my opinion, in, I don't, I don't ever visit the hospital because, um, I only I only had flu or colds, and it's not necessary visit visit the hospital, but I remember I only visited two to twice the hospital. Uh, once was for uh, pink eyes and other for COVID, only two to twice. I remember visited the hospital. Only twice? Yeah. Only twice. In my case, uh, yes, like Hazel said, just if, I saw, if it's something very, very worse, or if I felt very, very worse, for example, Entonces va con la uno, muy enfermo. As sick as a dog. Yeah. Maybe you can hacer las flechitas. Maybe you can put it horizontally. Permítame. Yeah, much better. Number two. Letter C. Two C. Under the water. Relax. Number three. You see. Bueno, la number four. Puede ser. Let it over. Let it over. Oh, no. Letter A. My stomach hurts. Letter A. Letter A. Y la tres, ¿cuál dijimos que era? No, no la hemos escogido <laughs> todavía. No, no. Eso no es nada. Many the the G many people have the same thing. Letter G. Uh huh. Take it easy. My stomach is killing me. Letter H, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah, pero este dice que está, está triste. No, no. está enfermo. Take it easy. Take, take it easy. Take que se lo tome con calma. Easy. Tomarlo, tomarlo. Uh -huh. Take it easy, uh -huh. no? relax. Y entonces dice la de que llame a la oficina para decir que está enfermo. Yeah, but do you say like calling sick? Can for two.
Number six. Wait. Letter D. Dice no, no me puedo dar el lujo de la de de no sentirme bien, dice. Uh -huh. no, no puedo dar el lujo de in great condition. I say practically finished, only letter A is missing, but no. Vaya, la, veo que ya pusieron las otras. La, la ocho dice, Victor Chase, eh, sería la E, great condition. Only letter E is missing. Great condition. Ajá, TikTok. Ajá, TikTok. TikToker, el muchacho. Ya. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the main session. Seventeen people, eighteen. All right, let's begin. As sick as a dog, what? To be very sick. To be very sad. To be very sick, okay. Under the weather. Not feeling well. Not feeling well, right? Good, bueno. Not feeling well. There's something going around. Many, many people, people, many have, the people, people. have the same thing. Many people have the same people thing. Same. Yes. Many people have the same thing. Okay. My stomach is killing. My stomach, My stomach hurts badly. My stomach hurts badly. Take it easy. To relax. To relax. To relax. To relax. Take it easy. To relax. Can't afford to. Don't have time. Don't have time. Don't have time. Don't have time. Don't have, time. Don't have money to do something. Call in sick. To the office. Phone the office. Phone the office to say you are sick. TikTok shake. No. In great condition. TikTok, in great condition. In great condition. Excellent. Very good. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Let's get to the next one. Conversation. This is the last activity, conversation. Practice the conversation with a partner. This is uh, Stingray, no, Stingray. No. Okay, good morning, Ray. How are you feeling? I'm still all aches and pains. Maybe it was a bad idea to go under the knife. Only there was no option. You were at death door when they brought you here. If we had an operator on you, you would be with a harp and a tulip. Was it really that I, was it really that bad? Certainly it was. I just didn't want you to pass away. You've got a beautiful daughter. 
She kept crying all the time. I had to do something. Thank you, doctor. Am I over the words? Yes, you should be up and about in no time. Thanks a lot. Hey, good morning, Ray. How are you feeling? I'm still all aches and pains. Maybe it was a bad idea to go under the knife. Only there was no option. You were at death's door when, you, when they brought you here. If we had an operator on you, you would be with a harp and a tulip. <laughs> was it really that bad? Certainly it was. I just didn't want you to pass away. You've got a beautiful daughter. She kept crying all the time. I had to do something. Thank you, doctor. Am I over the worst? Yes. You should be up and about in no time. Thanks a lot. So the idiomatic expressions, all aches and pains. All aches and pains. Okay. Go under the knife. Mark, mark the knife. So at death door. With a harp, be with a harp in a tulip. Okay. Pass away. Pass away. Pass away. No, pass away, no. Pass away. Pass okay. away. Pass away. No, pass, pass away. Pass away. Pass away. No. Okay, pass away. So pass away. Certain, over, certainly. Certainly. Yes, no. Over the words. And oh, be up and about. Be up and about. Okay. So there are three, seven, seven idioms in the in the conversation. Okay, let's go and practice the conversation. Okay, this is the last thing to do. The rooms are opening. Please join. Angelitos. Oh, my goodness. Let's join. Quien me acompaña? Yo le acompaño. Okay. Good morning, Ray. How are you feeling? I still edge and pain. Maybe it was bad idea to go under the knife. Only there was no option. You were at the door. When they brought you, you here, it's be is with that is is we if with hand operated on you you would be with a harp and a tulip what is really that bad certainly i was it was i just didn't want you to pass away you pass, because pass away pass Away. Pass away. You've got a beautiful town girl. Daughter. Daughter. She, she's <clears throat> crying all the time. I had to do something. Thank you, Doctor. Um, I over the words. Yes. Am I, am I over the words? Um, uh, and I over the words. Yes, you should be happy about into in no time. Chance a lot. Cambiamos. Yes. Okay. Inicia. Good morning, Ray. How are you feeling? I feel at age and pain. Maybe it was a bad idea. 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 A bad idea to go under the knife. 
Only there was no option. You were a dead then door. You were a death dead door. A death door. Death door. When when they brought you here. Brought you here. They brought you here. Brought you here. Is we haven't operated on you. You will be with a harp and a tulip. What is really that bad? Was it really that bad? What is really bad? That, that bad? That bad. Uh -huh. That bad. Yeah, Baghdad is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Me fui para Medio Oriente. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sorry. Certainly is was. If you didn't want you to pass away, you be go a beautiful daughter. Daughter. She keep crying all the time. <clears throat> I had to do something. Thank you, doctor. I am I am over the words. Yes, you should be up and about in no time. Thanks a lot. Okay. Next. Next. ¿Quién me acompaña? Yo. Only there was no option. And you were at that door when they brought you, the, you here. If we hadn't operated on you, you would be with a heart and tulip. And a tulip. Was it really that bad? Certainly, it was. I just didn't want you. I, I just didn't want you to pass away. Uh, you got a beautiful daughter. She keeps crying all the time. I have to do something. Thank you, doctor. I I over the words. Am I am I over the words? Am I over the words? Yes. Uh, you should be out and about in no time. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you, Odert. Me, King, King, you are conmigo. Que no acompaña ahí, si no le ayudamos. Okay, ¿Quién fue primero? Ah, hoy fue hoy primero. este comienza. All the time. Uh, to do something. Thank you, Doc. I'm all over the world. Yes. You should be up and about, about into in no time. Thank you a lot. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay, Danilo, entonces. Igual, ¿verdad? Okay. Eh, okay. Te tocaría okay. ser el doctor. Okay, okay. Good morning, Ray. How, how are you feel? You feeling? I'm still all... In pain, maybe aches, I was about a year. In pain, it's in pain. It's a pain. It's a pain. It's in pain. It's in pain. Maybe it was about a year to go on to go under the knife. Okay. Only, only there. Was no opinion you were option option no okay option, option. Uh -huh. option you were at at uh, this door this uh, this door when they brought brought you here brought ah uh, brought you brought you here brought you here mm -hmm. if we haven't Adam, operation Adam. Hiding, operating, operating, operating on you, you, 
جو جول جول بي ويس هار ان اتوليت واتس ات ريلي ذا باو certainly if it was i just didn't want to you to didn't pass want away you, didn't want you to pass away didn't want you to pass away a jewel gold a beauty for tarot she Fourteen people out. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen people out. Teacher, puede leer donde dice, yes, you should be up and about in no time. You should be up and about in no time. Up and about in no time. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, let's see. Well, we're only 21. Let's begin. Alejandro Enrique Gonzalez. Present, teacher. Excellent. Nice. Nice. Carlos Ernesto Sarsen. Okay. Cindy Janet Coches. Present teacher. Good night. Excellent. Nice. Good night. Daniela Lisette Gutierrez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Daisy Tatiana Cruz. Francisco. Daisy Tatiana Nord. Daisy Tatiana didn't come. Okay. Evelyn Jamilet Molina. Present teacher. Excellent. Good night. Nice. Good night. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria. Present. Good night. Good night. Diana Maria Maya. Didn't come. Okay. Hazel Berenice Jimenez. Here. Good night. Good night. Jose Miguel Blanco. Good night, teacher. Present. Excellent. Nice. Good night. Julio Aristides Paz. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Carla Idari Castillo. Okay. Catherine Beatriz Urbina. Okay. Excellent. Nice. Katy Briseida Hernandez. Present. Good night. Good night. Lady Maricela Linares. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Liliana, Laura, Teresa, Claudia, Maria, Polio. <laughs> Present teacher, good night. Good night. Be good, sleep well. Maria Leticia Real Egeño. Present teacher, good night. Excellent, good night. Mauricio de Jesus Buruca. Present teacher. Excellent, good night. Miguel good night. Angel Santos. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Omar Sept Galicia. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Roberto Carlos Gámez. Robertio. Present teacher, good night. Carlos Asaño say present in chat. Ah, ok. He said present in chat. Okay. Rolando Danilo Sánchez. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present teacher. Excellent. Good night. Susana Good night. Andrea Urbina. No, she doesn't come anymore. Wilber Francisco Javier Martinez. Present teacher. Good night. Excellent. Good night. Rudy Alexander Asensio. No, right. He didn't come. Okay. Jose Andres Martinez Perez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. William Boris Roque. 
William Boris, no. Today, no. Denis Fernando Flamenco, no. Okay. Let's see. So today is day 13, Catherine Beatriz Urbina stays. The other people, maybe. Thank you very much for attending. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank teacher. you. Welcome. Good see you night. tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, Gray. How are you feeling today? I'm still no legs and pains. Maybe it was a bad idea to go under the knife. Only there was no option. You were at death's door when they brought you here. If we had an operator on you, you would be with a harp and a tule. Was it really that bad? Certainly it was. I just didn't want you to pass away. You've got a beautiful daughter. She kept crying all the time. I had to do something. Thank you, doctor. Am I over the words? Yes. Should be up and about in no time. Thanks a lot. Hey. Good morning. This is Tony Grimes. Hello, Mr. Grimes. This is Rose. I have a situation. Hi, Rose. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Yeah, I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Rose. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Grimes. Have a nice rest of the day. Good afternoon, doctor. Good afternoon, how do you feel? Not very well, doctor. I see, uh, I see. Can you describe your symptoms? Symptoms? Yes, can you tell me what you feel? Of course, I have a splitting headache and want to vomit when it comes. Also, my nose is stuffed and I have trouble breathing. You've got a sinus infection. Is that serious? Not really. Take this medicine every eight hours. You'll feel in you'll feel better in no time at all. Thank you, doctor. I have aches and pains. My throat is sore. I have a stuffy nose. My nose is blocked. I have a headache. I have a high temperature. I feel hot. I have a fever. I want to vomit. I picked up a bug. I cough. I caught a bug. I feel nauseous. I have a runny nose. I have a chest infection. I have the chills. I have a splitting headache. I can't breathe. I have diarrhea. You're burning. Throw up, puke, toothache, headache, backache, stomachache, migraine, migraine. What's an idiomatic expression? An idiomatic expression is a special conjunction of words with a that have a particular meaning. They're usually used according to sector. In some parts of the United States, some people use some idiomatic expressions. In other parts of the United States, other people use idiomatic expressions, different expressions. Okay, many of the expressions are not understood across the country. How can you use them? How can you use idiomatic expressions? 
Well, you have to use them according to context and only if necessary. Is it convenient to use idiomatic expressions when you don't really understand them? No. If you don't understand them, it's better to stay away from them. When can we use an idiomatic expression? Only when you know how to use them and only when the time is right. Some idiomatic expressions are raining cats and dogs, cost, costs an arm and a leg, a chip off the old block, the apple doesn't fall, doesn't fall far from the tree. Okay. Seven ways for understanding and improving the understanding and the use of idiomatic expressions are Number one, listen to the context. Number two, check to see if you understood. Number three, be honest when you don't understand. Number four, never translate idioms literally because they have a specific meaning, a particular meaning, different from the, the separate word formations. Okay, five, listen to how native speakers use idioms. Six, take notes. Seven, tolerate your mistakes.